All right, so it's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. And sometimes people, they buy new cars and they don't like these decals that the dealers put on them and they want to take them off. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick demo on how to take this decal. It's just basically a sticker, right? All you need is a heat gun or a hair dryer. I know a lot of you DIYers, you probably don't have a professional, you know, high grade heat gun like that. But you could basically just use a hair dryer, all right? You just don't want to be in one position too long. And I have a little little plastic applicator squeegee thing here. We're gonna go ahead and heat it and just pull it right off, all right? And also, some of the dealers, they'll put on, you know, mold emblems like this, where it's like, you know, it'll say Toyota of Denton or whatever in this style. We're gonna show you how to do that on the other side. We're gonna take this XLE off, uh, completely remove it, and get the glue off the paint and make it look brand new. That'll be in another video, all right? But right now, we're gonna go ahead and just take this Toyota of Denton off uh, this decal here. Just want to get the surface warm. All right, we don't want to burn the paint or anything. It's a new car. Oh my God. And the reason why we're using a heat gun or a dryer to warm the sticker up is because it comes off easier in one piece. Sometimes when it's cold out uh, or the stickers are old, this is not old obviously, but they come off in little chips and pieces. It'll be such a pain in the butt to take them off. That's why if you heat them, even the old decals tend to come off easier uh, in one piece. That's the only reason why you want to heat it up. So that's it. I got it all here on my pants. <laughs> and uh, we got a couple of glue marks, but that'll come right out. You know, just hit it with a cloth quick. And there you go. You could use a hair dryer, like I said. Pretty easy to do. Uh, a little bit of glue. You could, um, let me see, what, what can we use right now? We'll just... I don't know if you've heard of Goo Gone before, but if you have a little bit of Goo Gone, I'm just gonna use a little bit of reducer because I have it some paint reducer and this stuff will take it right off like in an instant okay so it's off now you could wash your car or whatever looking great we don't have that ugly Toyota of Denton uh, sticker on there um, next video we're gonna go ahead and take off the XLE here uh, that's what the customer wanted we're also gonna go ahead and customize this thing later on uh, we're going to take off the XLE and replace it with a limited badge and we're also going to customize the whole bottom. We're going to be painting uh, this lower plastic piece here of uh, the Highlander. We're going to leave this section black in here. All right, we're going to go around the car. We're going to paint all these moldings white. Okay, all around the whole car. White. Okay, around the wheel well. We're gonna make these red, okay? Because we got the red pinstripe in here. Uh, and also on the front, we're gonna go ahead and paint that lower part of the bumper cover there white. It's gonna be all gloss white in the front of this thing. Thanks for watching this short, quick video. Um, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com right now. I'm giving away a free 85 page auto body and paint manual. Uh, it'll teach you a lot of tips and tricks of the industry where you could basically learn how to do anything with auto body and paint if you wish. All right, it's Tony. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.